Okay, guys, so you are here on the draw that assignment. I'm going to go over it with you, um, and then I'm going to give you a little time to do that. This is just an extension of the assignment that we did last week, or not last week, last class, excuse me. So um, in the last assignment, I, I gave you a scene that you needed to recreate using uh, shapes on Microsoft Word. So now your objective is going to be to create a scene, uh, create your own scene that is fall related or Halloween related um, using shapes. So again, objective, use the shapes and drawing tools available in Microsoft Word to create a fall or Halloween themed picture. It can be a Halloween memory or just a fall related scene. Criteria for creating this picture is below and it must be followed. Um, I just want to remind you guys, sometimes people are turning in things that it's like their interpretation of the assignment. They'll send me in a picture of a Halloween scene and that's great, but it doesn't meet the criteria of the assignment. So I need you to follow all these. Um, it's one through 10 here. Um, you're creating your Halloween theme or fall theme. If you don't celebrate Halloween, that's fine. It can be fall themed in Word desktop version. So remember, we find the desktop, desktop version by looking up Word and opening it this way, not opening it through Office 365. You need to insert two clip art pictures. So that's pre-made pictures from Google. Uh, there's only two. Um, Please do not use more than that because I want to see that you can use shapes, not just insert clip art. You can insert clip art by, like, if I'm going to do um, fall leaves, let's, let's say. Let's say I want to insert this picture. You find your photo that you like. You, some people have told me you can copy and paste this. If you can do that, go for it. I'm going to go the traditional route and go to same image as. I'll save it in my TEX folder just to be organized. Go ahead and open up your Word document. Insert picture this device. And there's my photo and go ahead and insert it. So now you can see we will come to this uh, with to this issue every time when you insert a photo, it doesn't move freely. Why is this moving freely? But this isn't moving freely because it's not squared. So you go to the layout options on the right, wrap text, square. It's super frustrating and kind of annoying, but you got to do it every time. Now I can move this freely. Now remember, we've done this before. If I want to like move these leaves in front of this, this square, but now it has this white background that looks kind of silly. Under picture format, you can always go remove uh, background. You're going to have to kind of play around with it. We did this in the Vans Shoes ad assignment. But let's say, mm, I just want one. I actually don't want all three of those. You can go to picture format, background removal, keep changes. And now that has a nice transparent background. Nothing looks worse than when you have a white background and it's covering something up. It's really nice to remove that background and make it look nice and clean. Okay. Um, if we go back here, you need to make sure you insert a call out that has some words in it. So a call out is when somebody is talking and like a speech bubble is coming out of their mouth. So I provided a couple um, examples for you. This is an example from a student. This is an, a, a call out. It's the ghost is saying boo and it's saying something. There's another one here. That's a call out. And those are super easy. You just go to insert shapes. And then call outs at the bottom. I'm also going to ask you to use the freeform scribble tool. You did this in the first assignment, but I'll go over it again. So if you want to, let's say I want to make a ghost, but I can't really make a ghost using any of these shapes. I'm, I'm going to draw my own ghost. Um, you go to the lines, freeform scribble, and I'm going to draw my ghost. This is going to look terrible, so do not judge me here. 
gonna make my ghost. <laughs> That's so awful. Uh, let's say I'm gonna add some eyes to it. Let's say I'm going to make it have a smiley face. Turn that frown upside down. Look, it's a happy little ghost. There you go. So I just showed you if you wanted to, let's say, create a spooky themed or a Halloween themed image uh, scene then that is an example of how you could draw something yourself or put something together using shapes. Um, make sure you're using at least five colors and five textures and using at least, at least 10 shapes. Uh, make sure you square the images. I showed you how to do that already and change the position of the shapes as needed. So if I was, I was here and I wanted this leaf. I want this leaf in front of my ghost, not behind my ghost. You can right click, bring to front. Now it's in front. Let's say I wanted to send it back. Right click, send it back. Um, if I want my moon not to be, um, if I say add patterns and textures, that means I don't want it to, uh, just a bunch of empty shapes um like example they added this is actually a really good use of pattern and texture they added pattern of a roof pattern of wood to create their house i really like that that's really creative um or this could be a pattern fill like we did with the dog house in the last um, assignment uh, so you can always go to picture or texture fill if it comes up on the side, you might have to double click on it, go to insert and then shape fill. So you could add your own picture. I could add a picture of wood if I wanted to, or let's say I wanted it to have the leaf on it for whatever reason. Insert picture. Now it's full of that picture. That looks kind of silly though, so I could go double click on it again and go to shape fill texture. Hmm. Let's choose something that looks like wood because this is going to be a house. Perfect. Say I want to fill my ghost with a pattern. I want it to be a checkerboard ghost or something like this. So that is how you add a picture fill, a texture fill, or a pattern fill. If I want to make my moon completely yellow, shape fill, yellow. But I don't want it to have that black outline because I think that looks weird. I can change the shape outline to yellow as well or give it no outline. Okay, um, before I let you guys leave, I want to uh, show you, if you go to modules, we are coming up on one month of school. So after today, you will have one, two, three, four, four assignments due in the Word unit, three assignments due in the Watch and Writes, and then the About Me PowerPoint poster. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight assignments total. If you do not have all eight assignments in, I would highly, highly recommend that you get started on that this weekend. And I just want to remind you that, um, you know, grades count. Even though there has been talk of us going back to school, um, virtual grades still count. The assignments online still count. So when we go back, if and when we go back, because we're not even sure, um, if you haven't done any of your virtual assignments or your assignments from virtual learning, that's they're still going to be due and it's, you're going to be super behind. So I just really don't want you guys to come back to class, have 20 assignments that you didn't do from when we were doing virtual learning and then just start off our, our back to school uh, already behind. So make sure you're using this time. You're using your async time like after 
after your classes today, it is still required that you're still working, even though you know you're not in class. It's still considered school time until 3 p.m. So use that time to get your stuff done. Um, if you have any questions about the assignment today, let me know. Um, if you feel ready to get started on your draw that assignment, then you can hop off and get started. If not, feel free to ask me any questions.